Good morning. Welcome around Australia to Bell Reeve Oval in Hobart. This is the second test match in the Ansett series, Australia and Pakistan. The first one a triumph for Australia and one of the best test matches I've seen in the past 20 years. Magnificent game of cricket and uh, this lovely oval will set the scene for the second encounter. Ben McGrath charging in. And we are gone. Yes, he's caught for a duck. It's worked again. Some riff there. Good catch at first slip. And superbly bowled. Got him. Yes, oh. he's out. Caught in the gully. That one, a little bit of steep bounce there. McGraw has been plugging away. And really, Ejaz, who's now holding his hand, it may even have uh, clipped his fingers. Oh, he's had a go at that one. So uh, it's going down the ground now. It'll be interesting to see how they go about this. Oh. This time, he's lofted him again. Very well hit. Just the one bounce into the fence brings up the 50 for Pakistan. That was the flipper. And he's whacked this one over the offside. So this really is... Uh, an onslaught on the bowling of Shane Warne. Got him! Drags onto the stumps. Very loose shot, but a big breakthrough. That's the wicket the Australians needed. A big wicket for Australia. That's just out! No, it's not. And it could be running if he hits the stumps. Oh, he survives again and he gets to 50. Wow, how was that? Dropped and a chance for run out. And a well-made 50. It's all happening at Bell Reeve. Well, that's a very good 50. We tried very hard not to make it. In the air. Oh, what a good catch. What a good catch. Beautifully taken, Mark Wall. One-handed to his right. It went straight in. Well, that's good catching. They've dropped two. But uh, perhaps we've seen the last of the dropsies. Well, it takes great things to make great partnerships. And edge and well taken. So Scott Muller coming back into the attack has got the breakthrough with Adam Gilchrist taking a magnificent diving catch. Tremendous catch from Adam Gilchrist. And that's going straight to mid on. So Moen Khan has got a leading edge. And Dolly to catch to Glenn McGrath at mid on. Yeah! Yes, he's out. He's out. That's gone off the bat and rolled back onto the stumps. Just judging by the way Gilchrist uh, behaved there, and the ball was running back towards the stumps. The batsman didn't realise it. Yeah! Big shout. Pad first. Umpire Peter Willie looks, and he gives him out. Probably a very good decision. Look to be straight on. And Peter Willie adjusts him. LBW. Oh, and a uh, big appeal there for court behind, and uh, that's the end of Wazim Akram. Shane Warne has eventually got him. Oh, and a short one, and that's the end of that. Short delivery, and, uh, well, he got himself into a really bad position there. Backed away a little bit as the ball started to rear on him. That uh, ends the Pakistani innings. All out for 222. With all the bowlers chipping in for a few wickets. I think when Steve Waugh sent the uh, Pakistanis in, he would have settled for something around about there. Such a beauty. <laughs> but uh, Slater's handled it all right. Great shot. A perfect cover drive. Superb batting. Five off the over. No wicket for 57. Oh, that's got him. Yes, it's got him. Beautifully taken. Moen Khan takes that right-handed. What a lovely catch that was. So young Mahmood has struck. The ball before was a good one. It surprised Blewett. That was a perfect line. It had Blewett stretching a little bit, and what a good catch. Make that four boundaries. Yes, very good shot. Well, that's beautifully struck. What a way to go to lunch, and uh, Michael Slater is heading off there for a quick bite to eat. Australia, one for 134, chasing 222. Oh, superb. 
Not a good Greenwich in that square drive. Good shot through the gap for beautiful cover drive. We've seen a few of those today. Not many of them better than that one. Slater on to 95. Oh, and he's dropped him. He's dropped him. He got dropped in the 90s in Brisbane, and it's happened again. A little outside edge to the captain, and down she goes. Awful Dyson, he's hit it, and he's uh, hit it straight to Midwick, and that's it. He's out caught. Well, that's his seventh dismissal in the 90s. Michael Slater, he did go into his shell a little bit, didn't he? He got stuck at the crease a little bit there, dropped it, slipped. That'll be a big relief, I tell you, for uh, the captain of Pakistan. But listen to this crowd. That's a very good delivery. He thinks it's hit the pad first, and the umpire, Peter Willey, agrees with him. Wakar was very strong in his appeal there. LBW number 86, another unassisted dismissal for Wakar Yunus. One of his signatures too. And shouts of catch it, yes, he's been given by Peter Parker. There were two noises, but I think Justin Langer feels as though he might have uh, clipped the inside of his pad with his bat. It was a very sharp catch. Oh, that's beautifully bowled by Wakar. Huge appeal, but uh, Peter Willey is unmoved. Absolutely unmoved. Waka Eunice cannot believe it. Oh, a big shout on this occasion. And must have been just going down the leg side. Waka is, uh, well, in this little spell, he's back to his best. Long way to go yet. Oh, he's bowled him! Oh, it's all happening. That's superb cricket. Wacker Yunus knocks over Ricky Punting. Back to back ducks, and this test match is alive and well. Wacker Yunus is finding the form of old. That's great bowling. He's troubled both Slater and Langer. He's LBW Mark War, and this is quick. Ah! Oh, and he may have dragged out there. It was a very quick piece of work by Moen. I would say the top spinner has gone right through the gap. Gilchrist looked to be playing for the spin, hit outside it. Quick work from Moen. He's very quick to take the ball and uh, get the bails off. You for the wicketkeeper or again the wicketkeeper? For the wicketkeeper and so is the third umpire. Gilchrist goes. Magnificent bowling to claim Mushtaq. That is a brilliant delivery. Oh, and he's bowled him. So Sucklane is on a hat-trick, and he may well have got that one with the top spinner as well. Well, how many times have we seen Shane Warne bamboozle batsman? Well, this is Warne facing Warne. He's gone the wrong way again. An off-spinner is not supposed to spin this way. All goes straight on. Look at that, and it's accurate enough to hit the off-stump. The Pakistanis love it. Sucklane on a hat-trick. beaten him but uh, he's beaten the outside edge and uh, Moen has whipped the bales off it's never pleasant for a batsman with 25 Pakistani fieldsmen around you in such a mood oh gee whiz uh, Peter Willey had to call there's no doubt I'm glad I'm here well that is amazing I reckon he has lifted it. it's a matter of when he's lifted is it at the time when the bales are coming off? Now the bales, well, the foot's, the foot's up and then back down again, and I think he might be gone. And if he gets the decision, it'll be 100 for Moen, and it'll be part of a hat-trick, so what a tremendous, well, they've given the benefit of the doubt to the batsman. Oh, gee whiz. Yes, uh, it was it was difficult, but it did appear that the uh, the foot just came up at the moment the bail came off. Ah! Oh, a big shout there, the quicker one, and he's found him right in front. He didn't get the hat trick, but he's got three in the one over. This is a magnificent piece of bowling from Suck Lane. 
In the air, got him. Yes, out court. Steve Borg going for it on the offside. And uh, Ejaz catching that one. That was a, a better catch by Ejaz. It was hit pretty firmly at him. Yeah! Oh, that's it. Out stumped. That's it. And what a magnificent performance by Sucklain. His best figures in Test Match cricket. He's uh, taken six. He's taken them when they were taken them when they were needed most. And well, that's brought a smile to a few of the Pakistan faces. A tremendous recovery. It is, and it set the game up for a magnificent finish as well. Well, that's the shot he loves. He smashed that one away on the offside. He's a very, very aggressive player, and what a way to get off uh, the pair. Got it. Mohammed Wazim goes. Got Muller has picked up the wicket with Mohammed Wazim being caught at mid on. It was a good performance. Oh, shot. Scott Muller's just dropped a fraction short. Side Amway, who I thought was just looking to survive, it was onto it like a flash. Oh, well played. He's got that away square, and that's gone down to the boundary for four. Shout, and he's given him. Peter Parker this time. Judges in the affirmative. Stockland Mushtaq's not all that keen to go. What a beauty. A quicker, flatter ball. And... It did side Anwar quite beautiful. That's good bowling, changing tactics around the wicket. Whatever Warren was planning, he has suddenly produced a ball entirely different from the others he's bowled, and it has ripped back. He hasn't just brushed the stump either. That's an absolute beauty for Shane Warren. That's turned a mile. Could be out. Oh, he tried to work it away on the on, so got a leaning edge and worn. You can see the desperation fell short. The end of a very good over. Three from 122. Maybe that was a flipper as well, but Inzerman trying to work it away off his pads. Interesting stance. Which he stands here. He really does hammer the edge of the bat into the ground. And that's another boundary. That's a big over for Pakistan. 13 off the over. Oh, well played, onto the front foot, and he's not running. He doesn't like running very much. So he changed his mind there and decided to have a little trot because he wasn't all that sure about it. Thanks, Tony. Well, that's clipped very, very firmly. Just uh, one bounce and crash into the backward square leg boundary. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Brings up the 200. Well, that's hit like a rocket behind square oh there goes that cut shot oh he's got him he's got him what a catch he blitzed it straight at war snaffled it he couldn't have hit it any harder well one wonders whether it deserved a wicket however they all count cut. got him yes out caught well he was closing the face on that one and trying to play it through the onside and uh, there must have been just a little bit of movement away towards the slip cordon. And uh, that was nicely taken and a very, very important wicket too. Oh, great shot. A genuine late cut. It's a good shot. That's a glorious shot. Moves into the 90s. He's hardly Mr. Wooster River today in Zimanoha. Big shout on that occasion. He's been given out. So Shane Warne has got the breakthrough. He's got rid of Azam Mahmood. He's not over keen to leave. Now Inzamam will be looking for two here. And he's got it. Well played. His first hundred against Australia. And his eighth test hundred. Well, there we are. We've got the big celebration out of him then. Oh, he didn't let me down, he's going again too.
Great knock. Great knock. Oh, big uh, appeal there. There was certainly a noise, and he's got him. Well done, Damien Fleming. That's a good line. It looked to me as if it was a little quicker as well. A thick outside edge and a very important wicket. Let's watch the ball here as it goes past the edge. Now then. Let's go! What a catch! Mark Waugh, that was a genuine late cut off the top edge, and he caught it as clean as a whistle. That was just a pure reflex job, and what reflexes they are. That really flew from uh, Inzamam al Huck's bat. He's made very few mistakes in this uh, innings, and this was one of the rare ones. What a brilliant catch to finish it off. That was really flying. The ball was past him. That is unbelievable reflexes there from Mark War. And Inzamam al Huck is gone for 118. Pakistan 8 for 357. It's a chance. Look, has got it. Hits the stumps. That's close. Oh, I think he's got him. What a good piece of work by Adam Gilchrist. That's another wicket for Australia. The early part of the fourth day. In the half volley length. Oh, and uh, that's in the air. This will be the end of the innings. Taken by Blewett. That's the end of a very useful partnership. Shane Warne brought on to bowling for the win. Hanging the ball up there a little bit. He tried to smash it to mid-wicket, and uh, Shane Warne has ended up taking five wickets yet again. Five for 110 in 45.4 overs. Good effort. It's a joy to watch. It's not easy facing a man at this pace. Or anyone in the Albert or somebody that's going for the catch. They reckon it's out this time. Umpire Parker unmoved. Well, they thought it must have struck a glove or something on the way through. Slater's walking away. This will be a very interesting replay again. And then slipped it in. Oh, good shot. Well, he likes it outside off stump. He plays the cut shot beautifully. He did in the first innings, and uh, anything out there, he'll have a go at it again. Good words out there between Slater and uh, and Shoab. Oh, and he's pulled that one away down to square leg. Slater's taking him on. This is so good. This is a seriously good battle. Oh, he's got him. He's got him. It's well bowled. Beautifully bowled. Well, Slater has taken to him. And at the end of the day, Shoabakta has won the little battle. He got him to edge that one. It was very well taken, actually. That ball was flying away towards slip. Oh, and uh, that's, uh, that's hurt him. That's hit him straight on the glove. Well, this, is, uh, this could have done some damage. That was a full toss, and uh, it's hit him straight on the hand. And uh, it's also the fastest ball that he's bowled. Now, this could uh, be problems for the batsman on the full. It looked as it was into his uh, top hand, I think. Oh, that's out. Did it reach him? Yes, it did. He's staying there. He's saying it didn't carry. Blewett's not happy with that, and the umpires are going to confer. Now, there's a nod of the head, and he's given him out. Yes, yeah, so that was obviously confirmed by the square leg umpire, umpire Willie. Well, a uh, thick edge there to a ball which really looked short and uh, it was out there to be cut. Oh, that's out. Plum LBW, Plum LBW. What a wicket that is for Pakistan. On the back foot, standing in front of his stumps. And, well, all I can say is that it may just have nipped back a little bit. It was a mistake to play back. I think it was probably just a little bit too far up. Oh, and he's taken a brilliant catch. So Suck Lane has got the breakthrough. Gee, that was hit firmly and very low to the ground. And the little off spinners grabbed a beauty. Yes, well, Steve Wall walked away before that delivery, Steve trying to recompose himself, slow the bowler down. <coughs> Suck Lane was stuck, tossed up a beauty. A bit more air. Tie Steve Wall to drive. Hit it well. Very good catch. Low to his left. And that's the big wicket. Oh, he's gone across a long way, and it is a pair for Ricky Ponting. So half the Australian side are now back in the pavilion, and that'll be a very disappointed Ricky Ponting. Yes, we made the mistake of going back here. 
suppose there's plenty of problems even for batsmen in form. That's a good shot. It wasn't all that loose. Gilchrist is a very, very aggressive player. He's got that right off the middle of the bat for six. Oh, and uh, that's very well hit again. Beautifully swept away for four, right off the meat of the bat again. Full pitch, and he puts it away. Freed the arms, Justin Lang, and it's a glorious cover drive. Gilchrist once again sweeps, there's a misfield. Misfield in the deep. Might, might make that man too happy. Sweep shot and Inzerman's not all that quick, this may go for four. It does. There's a big shout, but uh, the umpire has not moved at all. So the fact that uh, some of this appealing is going on does tell you that there's a little bit of uh, a worry in the Pakistan camp. Look at this one. Look at that one. Well, oh, there's definitely a noise there. Definitely a noise that said, did anything, it hit the underside of the bat or the toe of the bat. Was he, Matt Graham? He can't believe it. Justin Langan looking down the wicket. Was he, Matt Graham? Bitterly disappointed. Quick look in the snickometer here. Big noise there, about the time it passes the toe of the bat. Hit the feeling Justin Langer may have got away with one there. And that one's absolutely smacked through mid-wicket. So was him Akram just uh, losing the plot a bit at the moment? Oh, that's a very quick bouncer and a very accurate one. And all it brings is a smile. Justin Langer. Not a lot of him, but I can tell you, he is a very tough man. Straight into the gap once again. He's picking the gaps magnificently, Gilchrist. Oh, and that one short and hit the way beautifully. Straight down the ground, that'll be it. What a beautiful shot. It's running away down towards the deep, long off boundary. Into the fence it goes, and that is a superb century. Wonderfully played, his first in his career. Shot, that's four, that's down the hill. Gave him some room, he doesn't even run. Justin Langer certainly enjoyed that one. And there's the 100 for Justin Langer. He's fourth in Test cricket and second against Pakistan. Catch. That was hit in the air, but hit very hard. Beautiful square drive. Shay Bakhtar coming around the wicket and angling the ball in. It's 5 for 361. That's out. Langer has gone. Only five runs needed to win. It almost looked as though he was trying to pick them up from uh, that particular shot, that one delivery. Gilchrist has had a word with him on the way out, and he's had a word with Gilchrist. And that is it. That is the winning run. And Gilchrist is telling Warren to get down the other end. And Warren had plenty of hands in the victory with his bowling. The Australians have pulled off what I think is one of the finest victories I've ever seen in Test cricket. Down and out yesterday, five for 126. And two men batted almost the whole of the final day. 
up to the point where the winning runs were hit. Adam Gilchrist, 149 not out. Justin Langer, 127. Superb performance.